Okay, so today I'm going to be giving you guys my favorite songs for the summertime. So I had a lot more songs than I thought I would, and this is going to be in two parts. Part one's today, and I will post part two tomorrow. Yeah, there's just too many songs. I don't want to be sitting here forever. Starting off strong, we got Sabrina Carpenter with Espresso. This is definitely one of the songs of the summer for me, and Sabrina finally did what I needed her to do. She didn't ruin any part of the song, because that's what she gets me. She gets in a part of the song that I like, and then she'll ruin a verse or a chorus. No, she got it together it's something that's fun light catchy great pop song vocals are exquisite it's just something that i have really enjoyed for the summertime she did exactly how to be done so i want to start this video off right with espresso by sabrina carpenter next up i got emotions by mariah carey my favorite singer of all time as i said before this song alone cements her as one of the best vocalists of all time i do not care she's doing the belting she's doing the whistle register she was doing it all and so impressively her songwriting on here is great super Super catchy. I really like the production on here as well. Yeah, this is just one that you listen to and makes you want to take on the day and I'm just blown away every single time that I listen to it perfect for the summertime. Next up, 360 by Charlie XX. Oh, exactly. This whole album is so good. I have a review of on my main channel. I'll link that video below. But yeah, it's just so infectious to listen to. I thought the songwriting was catchy. I like the production on here as well. Next up, Bodyguard by Beyonce. The way that this was supposed to be a bodyguard summer, we didn't get it. I'm sick to my stomach. I'm sick to my stomach. I hope eventually we get a music video for this, but there was so much that was left on the table, but I digress. This is an excellent song. Love at first listen. I just love the vibe that it has to it. I love the guitars on there, the piano. Her vocals on here are excellent. I like the lyrics as well, the kind of playfulness with it. Yeah, this song is just too good. And like I said, the best song on Cowboy Carter and it is song of the year to me. I don't care. I don't care. This is top five Beyonce all time in my opinion. And I'm always going to give Bodyguards its tens. Next up, I got Janet Jackson, All For You. I said it a billion times. One of the best pop songs to ever be recorded. I don't care. All the vocal learning on this, if you haven't heard acapella, definitely do. Shout out to Jimmy Jam and Terry Lewis for the samples. Yeah, this is just an excellent, excellent record. I love the video on here as well, the dance break. Janet, the pop star that you are. People with their whole career is trying to get one song like this, okay? Yeah, she made history. Next up, I got Aaliyah Rock the Boat. I can't give Aaliyah enough for what she gave us with Rock the Boat. You know, shout out to all the songwriters and producers on the song because, yeah, this is just so summery. The production on here is absolutely phenomenal. Vocals are great. The songwriting was catchy. Yeah, the song is just too good. Perfect for summer. Next up, I got Harry Styles' Late Night Talking. This deserves so much as a single, if you let me tell it, but it's still a great song overall. I really love the production and the horn arrangements there. His vocals on here sound wonderful. Really like the songwriting. I think it's super catchy. Yeah, Harry did exactly what he needed to be done with the song, and I'll always give him his tens. Next up, I got Solar Power by Lord. A lot of y'all didn't get this off first listen, but oh, I did. She kind of ate. She said, I'm kind of like a prettier Jesus. I'm sorry. I love it. I love it. I think this is fun. Had its acoustic moments to it. I enjoyed it for what it was. Yeah, Solar Power was a good album. I don't care what y'all say. Yeah, she did exactly what had to be done. Next up, I got Into You by Ariana Grande. I said to my friends, this is also one of the best pop songs ever recorded and they were looking at me like i was stupid i'm sorry i'm sorry i know pop ruins when i hear it yeah especially that bridge and the vocal if you know you know production was really good on this song songwriting was super catchy yeah the whole album kind of gives a summary vibe but i had to shout out this song specifically next up miley cyrus we can't stop yeah when she went into the bangers era she meant business like i say there's cultural appropriation and there's cultural appropriation and that's exactly what Miley did. This song is so good. Still sounds excellent. That amazing production. Her vocal really shines through the songwriting on here. I can't get Miley enough for the song. She absolutely devoured. Next up, I got Radar by Britney Spears. I always say this song was so good. She put it on two different albums and she ate both times. Yeah, just the confidence on this song. I like the production to it a lot. Yeah, really enjoyed the song from Britney. And of course, I had to have her in a summer video. Next up, I got Do It by Chloe and Holly. Shout out to all the songwriters on here. I'm pretty sure Victoria Monet is included. I love her. And yeah, this is just such a fantastic song to listen to. I just love the whole energy of the song vocally. I thought that they both did great. I like the production on here a lot. I think it's aged nicely. Speaking of Victoria Monet, I had to have All Right on the list. This song is off of her recent album, Jaguar 2. 
I think it's just excellent. Her lyrics and her wordplay, brilliant, brilliant. I like the production. I like the video. I like the vocals. I actually think that this is something that's going to age well for her. Splendid. Next up, I got Cruel Summer by Taylor Swift. Yup, yup, yup. You know, this song, a fan favorite, now it's a single, went number one, and deservedly so. Really great production on here. I like the vocal for what it is. The songwriting is super catchy, especially love that bridge part. Yeah, this is some of Taylor's finest work. I'm sorry, sometimes songs are popular for a reason because they're just that good. And Cruel Summer checks all the boxes for a great summertime. Next up, I got Let's Groove by Earth, Wind, and Fire. Yeah, they always have that feel-good song. And this one, I felt like, was a perfect addition for this video. Great vocal, stellar production production as always with some really catchy lyrics next up michael jackson and pyt pretty young thing yeah when i was going through his songs to put in this video i was like oh yeah i definitely have to put this one in the production is great i mean this is just really a classic song i like all the vocal arrangements i'm pretty sure his sisters are singing along with him as well the songwriting on here yeah he's taking it he's taking it this song is just phenomenal next up carly ray jepson call me maybe absolutely for the bridge alone for the bridge alone i'm sorry this is one of the only songs in 2012 that has actually a decently a lot of that with the dubstep and the edm did not age well but she can't relate with the song smash it yup 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 this was an easy decision next up i got lunch by billy eilish this song is just so much fun to listen to i like the lyrics the wordplay i thought it was clever the production is good her vocal it was a good moment it was a good moment i like this track on the album next up i got megan is with rattle it was something serious in that studio it was yeah she was on a mission i think that this song is super catchy i like the hook to it a lot yeah had to have megan on this list next up i got in the party by full millie rent was due rent was due yeah her flow on this her bar is just absolutely matched the production on here is perfect i like the video for it yeah i like full millie as a rapper a lot this is a song i had to have in this video if you know you know yeah she slid next up summer nights from greece absolutely absolutely this movie is a classic so had to have this song in there next up bad idea right olivia rodrigo yeah she made a song for the girls plain and simple love the production on here i thought the vocal delivery was really interesting as well songwriting on here is super catchy i like the video as well yeah she slid next up i got broken clock spices yeah she absolutely slid on this production also really like the lyrics on here i'm never going back never going back no you can't make me and like the whole situation there and kind of just talking about her life i like the vocals yeah this is a really good piece spices a perfect for summer next up is justin timberlake breeze off the pond this is definitely one of my favorite justin timberlake songs i listened to this one a fair amount recently but what an incredible production on here i believe the neptune are responsible for this so definitely shout out to them his vocals on here are absolutely sublime really love the songwriting on this the bridge yeah that's one of my favorite bridges that i've ever heard yeah he really ate with this one next up i got ran on me by lady gaga featuring ariana grande exactly exactly this is a perfect collab between two of them great production and writing and the vocals top tier top tier next up skate by silk sonic bruno mars anderson pack yeah this has one of my favorite productions across this entire list love their vocals love the lyrics yeah what a great atmosphere that this song sets it's kind of underrated it's kind of underrated as far as like the singles they release leave the door open gets a lot of love i know but this song we should talk about it more next up jump to it by aretha franklin yeah i really liked her on this production it was just something that was so joyful to listen to she ate she ate still into you by paramore I have to get a song of sense. I really do. I love her vocal performance on this one. I thought the production and instrumentation was super cool. Songwriting is catchy. Checks all the boxes for me. Next up, I have Yeah by Usher featuring Lil Jon and Ludacris. Overplayed, but I mean, still classic. Had to throw it in there for the summer songs. I got Hollaback Girl by Gwen Stefani. I'm pretty sure this was a diss track towards someone else. I don't remember who it was, but I mean, regardless, I think it's super, super catchy. Just the pocket that she gets in that production the songwriting, yeah, they, they, they made a classic with this one. Last up for today is going to be Never Too Much by Luther Vandross. Yeah, the production on this one, the instrumentation still sounds good to this day. Love the vocals on here and the songwriting is just super catchy. I love all the vocals and the vocal layering and everything that he did there and the backgrounds. I appreciate all those little parts of it. So that's going to be my last one for today. Like I said, part two is going to come tomorrow. I normally don't do stuff like this, split stuff up. I normally have it be one long video, but I just had way too many songs. I'm like, it's better as two parts. 
I don't want to repeat any artists today, so part two will be tomorrow. Let me know what you think down below in the comments. Do you agree with me? Do you disagree with me? What are your favorite songs for the summer and stuff like that? If you didn't see songs that you think should be here, don't worry, they might be in part two. But that's it. If you enjoyed it, give it a like. It helps me out a lot in the YouTube algorithm. I'd appreciate it. You can subscribe for more music related content every single day. You hit the bell, you get notified when I post new videos. Down below in the description, I'm gonna have all my social media. So first thing will be my main channel. I just posted my Kalani Crash album review, track by track. Also gonna have Twitter, Instagram, Spotify, TikTok accounts, my earbuds if you want to see what I'm listening to in real time. Free Palestine must educate ourselves on this. It's very important. Also register to vote. I'll be voting for Kamala in November. But thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next one.